I, I know I'm okay. Welcome back, all. I know I'm bashing here, but you know, it's I'm showing you like to like systems. It's like th this is the difference. Th this is the price gap here. This is the thing. A Apple is lowering their prices by cheaping out on what they're giving you. And, and they're not even. I mean, we covered on the CPUs and motherboards why that's not even necessarily a good way to do it. And, and you know, yeah, some of the accessories cost less than they do elsewhere, but that's because the system costs that much more. Anyways, moving on. In it, I seven, okay. The cheaper 15-inch MacBook Pro has the i fives, okay. Now you can see you can get a 15-inch 2.4 for i five with four gigs of RAM for eighteen hundred bucks. Actually, let me check this comparison here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I checked. I, I, was, I, I was just making sure I checked the i7 because I want to be doing like to like comparisons. Anyways. And when you get, you get OS 10, you get the ability to run Windows 7. And you get the Apple ecosystem and the wonderful customer support. And you get OS 10, and uh, it's got the 330 NVIDIA GeForce GT, which I. You know, I, I, I love how Mac people's like, oh, I get the ability to run OS X. Okay. The only reason OS X is not available, uh, here is literally the choice Apple makes you use. Spend way too much on a computer. It's like, you know, people want to say OS X is a cheaper OS because, you know, if I go to the store, I can, I can buy uh, Leopard for... It's not even 50 bucks. I think it's 30. So like this means Snow Leopard. Um, and I can buy the whole OS, you know, full retail. Well, actually, there isn't such thing as full retail on OS 10. But it's not, it's like, it, yes, from a purely software perspective, it costs less than Windows. But when you add the legalese of the ULAW in, which basically states it's only legal to run on a Mac, if Apple didn't make the computer, it ain't legal. Not that you can't build and run a Hackintosh, but you're technically breaking the law. So, the true cost of OS X is that software cost, you know, let's say 30 bucks, plus the on average $500 deficit of the system. That means OS X costs, if you're running it legal, I don't condone breaking the law, except when absolutely necessary. Twice what Windows costs. And here's the real question you got to ask yourself. When you're buying a Mac, is OS X worth $600 plus to me? If it is, if the style of an Apple computer and OS X legal is worth six hundred dollars plus to you because in some cases it's more in some cases it's, it's over a grand but on these examples we're averaging five to six hundred dollars about six hundred average if it's worth that to you and to be getting a little bit less computer to be having an underclocked system via slower ram and to have less autonomous power via a battery that's stuck in because you know Apple people talk about oh it's a big deal that we get eight to nine hours worth of battery life okay go check battery life today on average you know a well-built laptop in the same league as an Apple computer gets eight to ten hours battery life and when you use battery one you can swap it out for battery two I want twenty hours plus autonomous power so, if I come home one night, and I just don't feel like doing shit, and I just collapse on the bed or the couch, and I forgot to plug the computer in or forgot to do anything, I'm good to go the next day. Or, if I'm pulling an all-nighter, you know, I'm good to go and still be mobile and sign on earth to be limited by a wall plug like I am with an Apple computer. If none of these things matter to you, and OS X is worth that much extra money to you, to get the advantages that go with a Unix-like system, 
then yeah, get an Apple. If it's not worth an extra $600 to you, then what you want to do is buy a comparably built PC, and I've, you know, I've showed you one, but there's many, because you will save a hell of a lot of money, you'll get a little bit more computer, and all you have to do to get the functionality and advantages of a Unix and a system is add Linux to it. Because like, they talk about, oh, well, you can run Windows. You have to go buy Windows and add it to the computer. Apple doesn't give you a copy of Windows with that Apple computer. You have to go buy a full retail copy from Microsoft, which is going to run you between $150 to $300. Going the PC or Windows route, you save yourself, you know, in this case, averaging 600 a minimum of just under 500 and to add to that same functionality is free because Linux is free. So, y y you know, it, which route makes more sense to you? You know, these are the things to consider. I'm not saying don't buy a Mac. I'm saying, is it worth that much extra money for you for that? Because that's what you got to think about here. That, that, that's the thing to think about. If it's worth it to you, and there's some people it's worth it to them. But if it's not worth it to you, and, and you know, they, then they'll bring in things like Final Cut. They go, oh, we got Final Cut. That's a $2,000 piece of software, by the way. So you got to buy that. <laughs> like, you don't just get that with OS ten. So, you know, this is... Think about it. it. Doesn't make sense to you. Is that a, is it worth that much extra to you? There's some people it is. The people who say, "Oh, well, I just like the lines of the system. I hate the lines on the Mac." But you know, people who that's their argument. They're like, it, "It just it, it feels right in my hand. It's not. It's not. It doesn't feel right in my hand. I don't like the color. I don't like the sun." You know, if that's your argument and the sun, and they realize the sun. But even these people, if you sit down and talk with them and go, oh, don't you think it'd benefit a little bit from opening it up and Steve Jobs up putting a bottle on the case? They go, well, yeah, hell yeah. Like, I, I don't argue with these people. I argue with people who try and make it seem like the Mac is a better bang for the buck and a better deal with the sun. Because when you do the actual math, you know, and you say, oh, it's 10 cheaper, and you say the part's cheaper, when you add all the factors in, they aren't. So... I've rambled, I've babbled, I'm up on time. You're going to have to come back to one more part. I apologize for that. But that's what you should be thinking about. Is it worth that extra half a grand to over a grand to do that? Peace out, I'll see you in the last part.